never have to pay another traffic yeah. ticket again. Yeah, it was funny. Because I didn't mean to go say hi to a few people. That's good. He's good at being invisible. I'm just used to it. I know a lot of people. I've seen no reason not to. Yeah, I know a lot of people. I've seen no <laughs> do, you, do you feel concerned at all, given uh, you know Philadelphia Police's history with open carriers? Well, they have had a history, uh, but that has been corrected on multiple occasions in the past. Yeah, um, we've marched against it, and we haven't had any problems in uh, well over a year. We haven't had any major incidents. Um, I open carry a lot. You're confident that they know the law? They absolutely know the law. Uh, I've taken an extra step and started carrying my permit on my neck. Okay. So it's very visible. It can be seen. Try to get them on this. I have a problem with it. If you were ever to be detained and, and asked about it, what sort of um, like mental prep have you taken? I assume that you've done some sort of mental prep for that sort of situation. Yeah, very well versed in the laws, very well versed in open carry encounters with law enforcement, uh, as well as the general public. Uh, you need you need to be prepared to talk to both sides. Uh, to be honest, I get stopped more by the general public than anything, and they're more of the important issue. However, being stopped by the police uh, in, a, in an open carry state, city, they're very widely aware of it. The biggest thing I see open carriers doing wrong is refusing to give their ID or, or being difficult. I know you don't have to. I know that Terry stops are illegal. You're open carrying a firearm. In today's day and age, people aren't used to that in certain places anymore. Philadelphia being one of them. Yeah. One of the reasons I open carry is to more inform people of that. If a police officer stops you and asks you for your permit or asks you, you know, for your, your firearm, give him your permit. Yes, you're carrying a firearm. I don't necessarily agree with the police wanting to take it out of your holster and disarm you while they check on the, per the status of the permit, but it is for their safety. It does lead to accidents, so. An unholstered weapon is more of a danger than a holstered weapon. If you're trying to pull the weapon out and clear it, any time that, that you do that, you are at risk. And even the, the biggest gun advocates will tell you, you don't unload your gun, you don't clean your gun with a bunch of people around, with ammo in the room, it's a safety thing. Mm -hmm. That's my problem with law enforcement wanting to disarm you. But again, I understand it's for their safety and they don't know who you are. So, thanks so much for your time. Absolutely, sir. All right, cheers.